So when you're masking a threaded hole, clearly you're either gonna have a through hole, which means you have access from both sides of the threads, or you're gonna have a blind hole, which means you only have access to one side. When we're talking about through holes versus blind holes, the biggest difference is that a through hole, you'll probably use a pull plug while a blind hole, you're gonna use a push plug. So we'll start off first with the blind hole. So we'll just act as if we only have access to this point. The first thing we'll start off with is figuring out what the inside diameter of this thread is. If you don't already know what it is, you'll just use a caliber and then you'll measure the inside diameter of the threads. So we'll do that now, just to get a gist of what it looks like. So we're at about 0.7. 0.7075. The reason why you want that is the majority of blind holes are masked using some form of a tapered plug. Uh, for powder coating specifically, uh, you're going to want to stick with silicone mainly because of the temperature uh, resistance of silicone compared to most other rubbers. Um, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to find a tapered plug that the inside diameter of your threaded hole matches the middle diameter of your plug. So what I'm gonna do here is basically kind of give you a demonstration of where you're measuring here. So this tapered plug, as you can see right around there, is roughly the exact same as this threaded hole. So based off of that, what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to actually push this in twist it, and there you go. That's how you would mask out the tapered hole. In some cases, you will have a through hole, which means you need to have the plug seal out both sides of the threads. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to find a, a pull plug that is just slightly larger than the inside diameter of your threads. So for this scenario, I have found this pull plug, which is, just slightly larger to give a good seal. And the way it works is you just plug it, pull it in and pull it through. So that way you will have a seal on both sides of your thread. Whenever you are trying to mask a threaded hole with just a standard silicone pull plug, you're gonna be able to mask off the threads, but in some cases you're gonna have customers or quality standards that require you to actually mask off the leading chamfer area. So for this one, this is a scenario where it is not masked off. If you are trying to actually mask off the chamfered area, similar to what you can see with this thread here, you're gonna need some sort of plug with a flange on it. One effective way of doing it is the silicone is a pull plug that looks like this, basically has that little um, chamfer up top to mask off the top. So the way that one works, it's just like a regular pull plug and you pull down and then you'll have a nice tight seal on the top. and it acts as a regular pull plug. Most cases you don't need to mask off the bottom chamfer. So that's why this plug works perfect for that. So for those areas where you do need to mask off the bottom, there are plugs that have designs similar to this. So I'll show you how that works. I'm just gonna pull that through. And as you can see, the bottom's masked off as well as the top area is masked off. Let's just act as if this is a blind hole that you only have access to one point and you can only mask off the leading area. So first off, the standard option again is just typical silicone plug. A uh, standard is just to push it in and twist a little so that you get a tighter seal. Um, if you don't twist, it won't really grab onto the threads as well. It'll still probably work, but not as, it won't, it probably won't be as effective. So, so that's one way. Another popular option, especially because of how small it is to avoid like shadowing, uh, is the leading boss plugs. 
the way these work is they simply just push in, give it a little twist again, and you are able to mask off the leading chamfer um, as well as all the threads. Another option is one of these, another little push plug. This one's actually really nice because all you have to do is push it in and twist just like the others. But the nice thing is, is that some of these plugs are actually marked with what size hole they're meant for. So this is an M8 thread um, and this is exactly what that thread is used for. And the nice thing is, is whenever you have a handle like this, it becomes much easier to actually pull the plug out. Another popular option for masking blind holes is the flangeless plug, mainly because it actually has these ribs that are able to grip on more uh, to the actual threads. So again, most push plugs work the same way. You just push it in uh, and then twist. Sometimes it just comes down to sizing. So here you can actually see how this one works. Another great way of masking off threads similar to this is the hollow tapered plugs. These are cool because they come in two different designs. They look exactly the same. You have a standard one, which works just like this. That'll mask off the leading chamfer area, mask off the threads fits well because it's tapered as well and hollow. Sometimes it might just be a little difficult to um, uninstall. There is another option and this one is actually cool because if you have, if pressure is an issue, it actually has a like slit, which may be a little hard to see here. It has this little slit. And the way this one works is as pressure is coming up, it will be released, but when pressure's going down, it stays shut. And so it works exact same way. You can still use the other options out there. And same here. Again, a lot of people like these plugs because it grabs onto the threads as well as it has a handle to make it a little bit easier to remove. You still have the option of like using die cuts and regular green poly masking tape, which it can get the job done. It's just gonna take longer and you might get a little bit more inconsistent results. Um, might be more of a pain and you might end up with more of a reject rate. This one is one of the ones with a pull tab on it to make it easier to pull off after powder coating. As you can see there. But again, I prefer plugs over tape for threads specifically. There are occasions where you actually have more of a custom request for a scenario like this, such as here is a can light, which is quite a bit bigger. Uh, don't judge on how old this is. This is one of our older parts, but it's quite big and um, not many catalog options are going to do this. So scenarios like this, you actually kind of need like a, quite a bit of a large pull plug. And the way it works, it's just a custom made product based off of the customer's needs. And it'll work pretty much like a standard pull plug. An example of a custom product for a scenario like this is we've seen people actually want a threaded, a metal thread to go in, but then they need the silicone rubber in order to actually seal out everything. So the only difference with this one is that you actually would install just like that. 
All right, so that's all I got for you today. When it comes to masking threaded holes, the main thing is sizing the plug correctly and choosing the right design. I'm going to link a more in-depth guide on this in the description below. Other than that, if you have any questions, just let us know down in the comments.